concatenation, people love it because it feels so natural. If you've got, let's do two and nine, right? So if you've got two and nine, it feels really obvious. Oh, well, of course I can, I can just, just move them a bit. Ah, oh, 29. And, and we just do that without thinking. It's, it's as easy as adding or multiplying. It's as it just write them next to each other. But if you think about the operations I've been using so far for this, if you've got A, let's call these A and B. If you've got A and B, we're super happy with A plus B. We're pretty happy with A minus B. We're okay with A times B. We've got A divide by B. You've got A to the power of B, all very nice. And then you've got, well, if I write A concatenate B, I'm kind of cheating. I'm just, that's not an equation. Like that's, it's just describing what you've got to do. There is actually an equation for putting them together. And if you think about the process, you go, what am I doing here? Well, I'm actually, I'm multiplying two by 10 and then adding nine. But what if it was more complicated? What if you had 17 and 29 and now you want to concatenate those? Well, actually what you're doing is 17 times 100 plus 29. So actually you've got to multiply it by enough tens to make enough room on the end to get the concatenated results. That's what you're doing. And so you've got to find a way to work out how long this is, and then you've got to multiply that many tens, or whatever the base is. Maybe, I mean, this is base 10. You know I get very upset if I'm limited to base 10. So if we want to add, a, if we want to concatenate A and B for any base, I've already used B, haven't I? Okay, any base capital B, right, it equals A times that base how do we work out the length of something? Well, you use a log, right? So it's log base, whatever the base is, of your next digit, of next number, actually it could be, coming up over here, b. You've then got a floor function that, so you round it down to the nearest whole number and you add one. That's just because the log will give you one, if you round it down, one less than the number of digits in that number, in that base. Uh, and then you add on uh, b. So there you are. And you think, well, hang on, this is, what a formula. You're like, you look at all the other ones, plus something, minus, like these are all, re you can see why these are considered the simple, straightforward uh, functions. This, this, how, I don't know, this guy, the stowaway, I don't know how they've crashed this party, and this is not a nice, it's only because to our eyes it looks so simple we let it come into the party. In reality, it's an ugly, complicated operation and probably shouldn't be allowed in. So you, you've there you undone are. all the hard I've work. undone all my hard work, right? Well, but you'd, yeah, you'd have to redo the whole thing, right? And I have no idea if you threw out concatenation, how many you could do. So I think you'd open up more holes than just 10958. Introduced is concatenation, which means that just so we've got four, 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 we can bring them together. So we can actually bring them together and consider that, say, 44.